What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Duran Duran, and we're going back to their 2015 album, Paper Gods. Very much enjoying going through it, and although I am saying that about all the albums, I was thinking about it, I'm enjoying them and enjoying going through them in slightly different ways, like for each of the albums. You know, I keep talking about Medazzaland as this sort of like gritty experimental album, and then this album, it feels like a sort of bright pop album, but some of the themes have struck me as being very profound. If you go back and watch my reaction to the title tune, Paper Gods, I was like struck by the sort of subject matter as the track was unfolding. So um, this one has a really cool sort of feel in terms of like finding a way to mesh what seems like the profound. Again, I got to listen to these tunes multiple times and the more I understand, um, or the more I hear, I think the more they will sort of work their way into my brain. But um, I'm enjoying the atmosphere of this um, album, which seems to have these sort of um, themes which I find very intellectually stimulating in a, within a sort of pop idiom where um, the tunes have this sort of like grand kind of pop feel. So again, Paper Gods, it, it feels like in a way it very much fits. Once again, shout out to the artwork, you know, the references to their um, older albums, uh, some of which I have now. Yeah, I noticed, noticed the Tiger. I recently did get Seven and the Ragged Tiger. Uh, but yeah, we're up to a tune. Uh, we just went past Dancephobia. Some people were suggesting in the comments, you know who you are, uh, that it was uh, my first dud experience of Duran Duran. I didn't see it that way. I will freely admit it wasn't my favorite all-time tune by them. Um, but I did enjoy several of the elements. And I guess my only one criticism, um, and if you go back in the video, I think I said this at the time, it felt like the spoken word nature of the diagnosis of Dancephobia felt a bit like adjacent to the track rather than being within the flow of the track. You can do spoken word in a tune <clears throat> and have it feel very much like part and parcel to the flow of the sonics, but that just felt a bit like grafted onto the rest of the tune. But again, I didn't hate it. I didn't dislike it. Um, I really did enjoy several of the elements, so I imagine that will be the case. There'll be an occasional tune where it's like, it's maybe not my favorite on the album, um, but it still has like redeeming elements and, you know, worthy of discussion. So. In any case, let's move on to what are the chances. Um, you know, it's a it's a suggestion of um, coincidence or unlikelihood. This idea, like, wow, what are the chances that this would obtain, that this would come to be? Um, so whether that's in relation to the presence of a person, or to like the dynamics of a situation one is in, or to the way in which your current situation. Um, in some way resembles or approximate an earlier state that was perhaps problematic or um, maybe ecstatic. Um, I guess it could be um, a wide variety of things, but I, it does suggest this idea that like one is um, incredulous about the state of affairs, that like what are the chances that this would actually be? Um, so we'll have to see if that has anything to do with it. I keep mentioning when I try to speculate about um, themes in advance, obviously it's just a way to get my sort of brain working and begin to think about potential ideas and the way that the um, title could manifest. So uh, I should mention, um, I really do enjoy the way they've done this. Like on each of the songs on the inside of this album, it sort of lists all the people and it credits anyone who appears. Uh, it does say guitars on this track are by John uh, Fruschiante. Frus yeah, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but it's, I think, Frus Chianti. Uh, string arrangement by David Rossi and Josh Blair, performed by David. Uh, additional production by Mr. Hudson again, so shout out to Mr. Hudson. Uh, and produced by Duran Duran and Josh Blair overall. So here we go. This is Duran Duran. What are the chances on their 2015 album, uh, Paper Gods? <laughs> Like Chris 
album and that song that was that was special um i really enjoyed that i'm gonna let that one sort of sink into my brain a couple more times see if i can pick up a couple more of the lines uh let me know what you think about the themes let me know what you think about the sonics um my brain is buzzing after that one that was really cool uh yeah let me know what you think other than that i will see you next time peace